Hi, Martin here. As you will have seen, I have a canoe cart um, for carting my canoe through town. I live close enough to a waterway that I can walk right through town and paddle most days, which is what I do. Uh, and so you will have seen um, exactly how I do that. Um, it, it beats portaging, <laughs> especially on a hot day uh, going up and down hills. Uh, so whenever I'm in town um, or near a town and there's an easy put in, it's a bit of a long walk, uh, what I do is I use my DIY um, inexpensive lightweight canoe cart and I fill my, my boat up with all of my gear, my fishing gear, my PFD water bottles, day pack and so forth and I carry it around and it's, it's effortless. Uh, but let me show you how this is, this is made. So ignore the lines here for a moment. All right, so this is just two baby carriage wheels. I literally found these um, uh, at the curbside. Someone was throwing away an old baby carriage. I thought, I could use those wheels. <laughs> so um, I took the carriage home. Uh, I took the wheels off and kept the axle. Um, so there's an axle, a metal axle that runs through this here, which is PVC piping. This is almost all made with PVC piping. Uh, so there's a, a, a steel axle that runs through here. Uh, the length of the axle on the baby carriage is what determined the length of this piece of PVC pipe. All right. Um, then I attached the wheels. Um, uh, I um, used copper fittings here because I found that the PVC plastic T fittings uh, tended to crack. I, I uh, used this years ago on a 60 pound canoe and eventually uh, there was uh, just a bit of uh, fatigue in the plastic and it cracked. Um, so I took it apart and I put on uh, copper fittings, which are quite a bit stronger. Um, then there's PVC uprights here, and then plastic or PVC T here, and a couple of short pieces uh, on the ends. All right, and it's all held together with um, hot melt glue. So it's just PVC, hot melt glue, an axle, and a couple of wheels. I reinforced these particular parts here to support the uprights um, with. Um, uh, copper tees instead of PVC tees. Okay, the tees up here are just PVC. Um, and then I wrapped a little bit of foam. This is a this is like 80 cents worth of pipe insulation foam. It's, a, it's the kind of insulation that you put around your water pipes in your home uh, to prevent con condensation drips. So uh, and then a little bit of duct tape to to hold them on. Right. It's that simple. Um, I then have uh, a piece of Dyneema here, but any kind of cordage would do. Um, I have this tied from here to here, and that's because when the boat sits on this, it, it exerts vectors or forces outwards and tries to push these apart. And so what I did was I tethered these two together uh, in a kind of loose hammock uh, like this. And so when the boat hull, the rear of the boat rests on it, um, there, the hull of the boat pushes outwards, but the bottom hull of the boat pushes down on this and brings them inward, and it balances that out. And that way I can go over bouncy, rocky, hilly, uh, uneven terrain, and, and the whole thing bounces up and down, and it's not exerting an, uh, an outward pressure that, uh, that cracks the PVC. Um, so that's worked really well. Uh, so I've been using this for a long time. In fact, I, I use this most days now when I go out. Uh, these two loose pieces of Dyneema cordage, and I like Dyneema just because it's waterproof, lightweight, highly visible in this color, and uh, very static, it's, not, it's non-stretch. Uh, these just um, uh, sit uh, loose. They go when the cart is under the, the rear of the boat. These go around the hull of the boat, and they just lash around one of the thwarts on each side, uh, and that holds the boat in place. And I'm able to tow the boat around uh, very easily. Uh, the whole thing. How much did it cost me? I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I built this years ago. Uh, I'll say under $20 for the materials, not including the wheels, which I didn't buy. I got those for free. But I mean, uh, the fittings and the, the PVC uh, and the pipe insulation cost almost nothing. You can use any cordage. I didn't always use this cordage. I used to use a heavier cord, a paracord, for instance. Um, this is so light, it floats. <laughs> um, so I, I really love taking my boat out uh, for a morning paddle. And I just cart my, my boat through, uh, through town with all my gear in the back of the boat. Um, and since the back of the boat sits here, I throw my gear in the back of the boat so that this is doing the lifting and carrying. So I just have to pick up the light end of the boat and tow it behind me. Um, and uh, when I get to the water, 
I want to get to, to uh, where I'm going to paddle, I just take it off and I just throw it in the back of the boat, as you'll see. Uh, it's that easy. So um, uh, if you don't uh, want to buy uh, an expensive uh, canoe cart, you just want to DIY it, uh, then this is one model. Oh, and by the way, I take no credit for this design. Um, I found this design um, in some photographs online. I just Googled DIY canoe cart and there were people selling these things. Um, and uh, but you can you can easily make it yourself. It's a it's a, a good afternoon project. Okay, I hope you found this helpful and happy paddling.